Sermon the Bandit, producer class, man. I'm hoping that I'm able to give y'all what I was able to receive when I was young to be able to create, because I had to learn just like nobody taught me anything except Parrish um, when he brought the W30 keyboard and um, was able to um, go through it. And, um, and every day I learned something different and different and different every day to learn something, how to, um, how to maneuver through that workstation. That's how I fell in love with the workstation. Producing is something, you know, it's very special. Like anything else, you do that, you know, takes, you know, talent or it takes concentration because it takes a lot of concentration to make sure that you're able to maneuver with all this equipment that you might be using. So, um, I'm gonna give it to you as easy as I can to make a beat and be able to format a record. Cause not just making a beat, it's also formatting to make a sequence of an eight bar, a 12 bar, or a 16 bar. The reason why I'm doing this is to make sure that um, those who are serious about being producers after I'm done with you, I'm hoping that you're able to see the real true essence of production. Making a beat from scratch, creating it, creating the drum pattern, you know, um, manipulating the sample, um, being able to, you know, say, okay, well, it's there, now I need a bass line, okay, I might need a, a guitar here, a string here. And then maybe I might want to make a change within the 8 bar or the 12 bar or the 16 bar, you know, to, to make it like, you know, like my boy Pete Rock would do. He would make a change, you know, and make it like, you know, he would change the beat to a different beat, you know. So it was kind of dope how he made that happen. So um, at the end of the day, I, I, I'm hoping that, you know, I can show you these things that I learned that I came from 